think I'm gonna cry, guys. Our engagement photos are ready. Oh my goodness. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is currently November 29th, almost the last day of November and officially Christmas season. I've already started decorating and all of that, but just wanted to update you guys as well. I have gotten all of my engagement photos back. I know the last post that I made or last video I made, I should say, was about our engagement session. Amazing photos, Sylvia Ayala Jones, or Sylvia Jones. Sylvia Jones is an amazing photographer. I highly recommend anyone to book her, look her up, I'll link her right here below. But she did such an amazing job. So. I'll put some of the photos up right now on my screen so you guys can see a little bit of what they look like. Some of my favorite ones, like one of my favorite one is of us posed in a model pose. Like we are fierce. We were looking so good. Oh my goodness, like I'm so excited because we're gonna use one of them for our save the dates. So that'll be exciting. Um, but right now, I just thought I would do a fun little decorate with me so I already finished putting up my tree but I haven't decorated yet so I just got some bulbs from Amazon some like silver and gold bulbs I believe and then I have some other ornaments that I had gifted to me for like our engagement and for a wedding so I'm gonna figure out if I'll hang it on my little tree or the big tree but I thought I would show you guys what the big tree looks like so okay so I got this tree from Amazon and I also got the skirt as well. I had to fluff it out quite a bit. One of the things about this tree is that it's easy to assemble. So it has three pieces that you stack on top of each other. This one I'll continue to fluff out as I put the ornaments on. But as you can see, it's a really cute tree. It was actually under $100. This one is the six foot tree. So if anyone is in need of a tree last minute, definitely look it up. They have a seven foot tree and a nine foot tree, I believe. So I'm tall, so this one looks like my height basically. <laughs> but, Cause I'm like 5'11". But they have some that go up even higher, like up here. So anyway, I'm going to decorate my tree. Here's a tip, which is not really a tip because I feel like a lot of people know this, but always record with your phone as well so that you can get footage for Instagram or TikTok. And that way you can kind of play around with both your actual camera and your phone. So that's what I'm doing right now. Another thing I got from Anthropology are these party fans. So what I like about party fans is that you don't have to use them for actual parties and hang them up. You can use them and put them in your tree. So I thought I would do that with um, the tree. And so we'll see how it goes. Cause it looks like they close together, like they stick together and then you can hang them. But I feel like these can maybe open halfway and you could stick them in there. So let's see. Uh, it's coming along nicely. Luckily, I have some ribbon that I can use. So I'm going to go ahead and get some, it's actually gold ribbon. So I'm gonna see how it looks when I string it around the tree. Uh, Cause I think that'll help set it off. But then I have to wait for my actual tree topper. So we'll see how that looks. I had this leftover ribbon, which I'm so excited about because I didn't have any ribbon to decorate my tree. So since my colors are kind of like gold and silver, I thought that that would be really cute. And then I have the little fans to accent the different colors. So we're gonna see how this looks.
this is my other tree that I put up recently. I actually am gonna get ready to decorate it in a second, but you can kind of see it lights up when the lights are off. It's really, really cute. So I'm gonna put some ornaments on there later. All right, I just got back from DC. I was in Bethesda and I picked up these really, really cute pajamas. They're from Anthropology. Obviously, Anthropology has a lot of really, really cute and artistic things and so when I saw these pajamas I said I needed them they're just so cute I absolutely love them and I also got another pair that I'll show you guys later but they're like a velour mustard color so yeah they're fabulous but they're like little cute shorts set so it's like really warm and the long sleeve I've got an XL cuz I'm tall so yeah, you guys should check it out. Okay, so the majority of my tree is done. I just wanna wait for my tree topper tomorrow. I have a little classic star topper. But I thought I would share with you guys this really cute gift I got for my 30th birthday. So since I'm getting married next year, people have been getting me little gifts. I already opened this, but this is from Bronner's Christmas uh, shop in Frankenmuth, Michigan. If you've never been to Frankenmuth, Michigan or Michigan in general, you definitely should go, especially if you're about the holidays. Frankenmuth is such a cute little area. It's really, it's a German town. So there's restaurants, shops, all of that. So this was a gift that um, Kathy, someone named Kathy that we know from Flint, Michigan gave me. So. How adorable is this? It's a, a black couple, a black couple for a wedding. wedding. And so I'm thinking about putting this on my little tree at the front. Uh, there's a tree at the front that I showed you guys, the white one. I think this would be so adorable to see every single day when I get up in the morning, when I leave. So I just thought I would show you this. It is so cute. This was another gift. It says, our first Christmas engaged. I believe I well I think I'm gonna put this one on in here just because it's cute sentimental so I'll I'll either put it on my tree or I'll put it on um, one of the drawer handles but I just thought that was so adorable so this is an ornament that my aunt gave me my aunt Wendy Ooh, I gotta tie it together but it says engaged August 2022 so we got engaged on August 12th, um, 2022, Aaron and Adrian. So I'm gonna put this on the tree at the front as well. So cute. Okay, so I thought it would be really fun to show you this really healthy banana nut bread recipe that I found. So what you're going to do is get coconut oil, sugar, any sugar you'd like. I had brown sugar. And then get some honey. I recommend using two sweeteners to make it extra sweet. So use your honey, use your sugar. Get baking powder. Um, and then you're going to want to also get flour. And then also get some baking soda. So get all your ingredients lined up like that. You're gonna get a bowl out, something to mix all of your ingredients in. But you wanna also preheat your oven to 350 while you're doing this. So mash your bananas. I like to use three of them. It doesn't really matter um, if they're really, really brown or if they're a little brown, they're still gonna taste good. You're gonna get a pan out and get like some vegetable oil or some spray to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan but I like to use a pan that will be good. Glassware is always nice. Get one egg. You're gonna take that egg and you're gonna crack it into your mixture. And then you're gonna want to get your honey. So use like a half a cup of honey or sugar, half a cup of sugar. Like I said, I would try to do both because it makes it extra really, really sweet. And then you're gonna do one fourth cup of coconut oil and add that all in. Get that all nice and you know mixed in well once you're done adding that in. Um, and then you're gonna, after you do that, it's gonna get your baking soda and your baking powder. So it doesn't really matter which one you do first, but just do one and one half teaspoons baking powder and then do one fourth teaspoon baking soda. 
Also make sure that you get your one and one half cups of gluten-free or all-purpose flour. So just do all of that, mix it all together really well, add it to the pan, mix it up so that it's all spread out nicely. I added some walnuts at, or pecans, I should say, at the end. So I would recommend actually adding it into your mixture and mixing it together. That way it's all kind of put into, into the mixture. I've done it both ways. Then you're gonna add um, time to your clock and do 55 minutes. Let it bake for 55 minutes. Um, and then once it's all up, you will be good to go and you'll have a delicious baked bread. Thanks for watching.